Hey there, I'm Tyler Lunsford and you're watching a review of David Penn's Invisible Deck Kicker. What is up you beautiful people, my name is Tyler Lunsford and welcome back to another Magic Trick Review here on the channel. Now if you're new here then definitely please consider subscribing and take a look around the channel with past reviews. Now today we're looking at the Invisible Deck Kicker by David Penn, a really cool effect that you can add on to your Invisible Deck or just something that you already do, you know a normal card trick that you want to add a cool ending to. Now I'm really excited to be reviewing this today and I'd like to thank Mystique Factor for sending it to me so I can do the review for you beautiful people out there and if you'd like to buy it for yourself the link is in the description and you can get for 10% off by using code TOWER10 at Mystique Factory. You know, if you use it, you get 10% off your entire first order with them. So that's really cool. I don't make any money off that. I'm just trying to save you guys some money. So thank you so much for being here today. I'm really excited to review this and let's get right into it. First off, you need to know what actually is the Invisible Deck Kicker. Well, the Invisible Deck Kicker is a way to spice up your existing Invisible Deck routine or add to an existing card trick that you already do just to make it even better. You place a card face down into your spectator's hand. You have them name any card. It is truly a free selection. They name any card out of the deck of 52. Let's say they say the Seven of Clubs. Then you say, what if the Seven of Clubs was on the card that you were holding? You know, do you want to bet a drink? Would that be worth a drink? Or you make a small bet. Then you flip over the card that they're holding and it's actually the seven of clubs that's on it but it's also every other card in the deck because it's the 52 on one gag then you can either point to the deck or you can do this visually if you want to but you say what if your card actually flipped over and then you can either shake the card and the seven of clubs flips over in the picture or you can do it in like a card under glass type of way where it's like slowly that your spectators realize their seven of clubs has flipped over and they're holding the card of 52 that has a flipped over seven of clubs which is really cool the card is examinable and then you can even change it back to the card not being flipped over and all of them are face up at the end if you would like to. Now that you know what the Invisible Deck Kicker is, let's talk about what you'll be receiving if you decide to purchase it. Well, you get this deck of specially printed playing cards right here. It comes in bicycle back. I'm pretty sure this is only available in red. I may be wrong, but I think it's only available in red. So you get bicycle rider back design, and inside of this deck, like I said, you get a specially printed deck, and you have a few of these suckers in there. What this is is the 52 on one gag, where every card in the deck is face up on this, and it's just a funny gag that you can even use in a different effect if you don't just want to use it with the Invisible Deck Kicker. But Let's say that you, you know, this is the card that you actually put into your spectator's hands. Now you actually do get a few of these because you do use these every time you perform it. So you can, you know, mess them up after so many performances, you know, purposefully don't mess them up. But if they do get messed up after so many performances, you do have a couple extras in the deck that are supplied for you. You also get an online tutorial video that you can stream. It's David Penn teaching you how to do it. And he even includes some performances of him doing it, which is really cool to see because he'll talk about what move you need to do. and then you get to see him do it so I thought that was a nice touch. Is there any DIY or initial setup they have to do for the Invisible Deck Kicker? Well there's some initial setup they have to do but no DIY. Everything comes to you ready to go inside this package. All you have to do is set up your deck and it does not take you that long to do. It'll probably take you like a minute. Not long at all and let's just talk about reset real quick. It's basically instant reset because after you get done performing this effect you're gonna be resetting the effect in like one second so it's really quick to do. It's not gonna take much. How difficult is the Invisible Deck Kicker to perform? It's not that difficult to perform at all because you probably already know the slides that are required to do this effect if you've been performing card magic for just a little bit. It's some of the basic slides and it's really cool how easy this is. How are the angles for an Invisible Deck Kicker? They're not bad, they're actually pretty good. You should be able to perform this 360 degrees. There are certain parts of the routine where you need to have some misdirection, but besides that, you're pretty much good to go on angles. Are there negatives to performing the Invisible Deck Kicker? Well, one negative that I would say, and this isn't a negative for me, it's more of a negative because I know some people don't like it, but this is bicycle design, and it's not something you can do if you want to perform with another deck besides a bicycle you know, rider bag. So that might be a negative for you that this isn't printed in another variation, you know, another back design. What are the positives to performing the Invisible Deck Kicker? Well, the biggest positive, I think, is that you can have this done with a freely selected card. There really is no force, and the card they hold is examinable, so that's cool as well. I really like this. I think the gag is a great idea, and this can totally just spice up any card trick that you already do. Just add it to the end of that, and then you're ready to go. 
what should this retail as? Well, it's currently retails as $32.65, and is that a fair price? Well, for what you're getting, you get a specially printed deck of cards, and you're getting the tutorial on how to do the effect, so I'd say yes, $32.65 is a fair price to pay for this. I would, you know, normally say $30, but I think that's probably what it is in like pounds or something like that. I think after the exchange rate, it ends up being like $32.65 or whatever, so yeah, I'm gonna say that's a fair price to pay for the specially printed deck that you get and the effect that you can accomplish with it. What would I give this out of 10? I would give this a 10 out of 10. It's getting a perfect score for me. This really is a fun trick to do. It's really cool. I love the gag, and I love that you can basically add this to any card trick that you already do and just end it with this. It's really cool. I love it. Should you pick this up, if you're looking for a way to spice up your invisible deck routine or add on to any card trick that you already do, then yes, you should pick this up because this is really cool. And if you like the 52 on one gag, then you're going to like this as well. That's going to do it for this video. If you'd like to purchase the Invisible Deck Kicker, then the link for that is in the description below. Now, if you do purchase it from Mystique Factory, then you can use code TOWER10 at checkout to receive 10% off your entire first order, and this included if it is in your cart. So if you like to use that, you can, and I don't make any money off of it. Just throwing that code out there for you guys. But thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you leave feeling more informed about the Invisible Deck Kicker. So thank you once again for watching, and remember to follow me on Instagram at TowerOnsWordMagic. There I post some original magic and you can reach out and ask me questions if you like to remember don't hesitate to reach out if you you know want to know something about a trick that i review or about magic in general i'm happy to help that's what i'm here for so thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in another review sometime soon see ya This was my second time recording this review because the first time I filmed it, I forgot to press record.